Do not see the mic in there. Hey. So what happened to you last night? Say it loud and explain it to the camera. I went to a, a party. It was called a bad taste party, so I fit right in. Uh, and it got wasted, like wiggity wasted. I think uh, I drew all over the club, and uh, I tried to I tried to get with these um, I don't know these hot ass Berlin chicks. I think they're like four of them, and they're all twenty. But I think when they realized that I was trying to get with all four of them, they kind of got together and said, "This guy's a creep." Two different. Last night uh, was the stage, and the night before I actually slept in kind of a proper aero mattress. It's a mattress made out of air and uh, and rubber. But uh, tonight, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll meet some uh, hottie boom body chick. Yeah, he's always bumming for somebody's place to stay. Yeah, I know. So you have to be careful. Okay. No, no, I mean, no, no, that's not what it's about. You know, this is about other stuff, you know. Jeez. What's going on? No, no, no. You're, you're just taking things out of context here. There's nothing to do with that. Yeah, and then it's really going to be out of context. This is going to be all a, a, you know, pack of lies. I had to come to Berlin just to get him off my floor. He's been living at my floor. I'm going to get some weed. And that's why I'm going with Richard. <laughs> and that's why I was interested. It had nothing to do with that. <laughs> You might make me look like a real dog if you show all this stuff. You know, I'm not that bad. I'm not a bad dude. It's always the young guys talking about all the girls, but they they don't seem to have any right here in Germany, so. <laughs> oh, well, this light doesn't work behind me, but hey, how are you? Can you see me? Am I in? Yes. Is there enough light? Yes. All right. So last night I stayed at this place. It was Friday's apartment. She's uh, this girl. She curated the show, and she has this apartment completely vacant. She's working on it. She's retrofitting it and renovating it, and you know, doing whatever, uh, easy baking it, so she can make it her own place. In the meantime, she's paying no money for rent, and she's just got this like two-bedroom apartment, fucking just sitting there with the bed in it. Nobody's living there. She asked me to stay there. I'm like, hell yeah, right? So after like smoking a joint with her, we, I, I go to bed. I tried to hit on her, but I think she was like, well, let me see you serious first, and I don't think I don't think we're gonna hook up. I go to bed. I wake up around four or five o'clock. Now she tells me before I go to bed that when I wake up, I should call her name out the window. Her name is Friday. So I'm yelling out the window at around four o'clock in the afternoon. Friday, 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 you know, just making all straight up about Friday and how I want coffee and all this shit. They're not answering. Nobody's sticking their head out another window. I'm just looking like a fucking dumbass in front of like these construction workers. Well, one of them shows up to my apartment and he just walks right in. Thank God I just took a shower and I'm sitting there getting, you know, semi-clothed, completely clothed almost, except for the jacket, and he's walking in, so I put on my jacket, and I act like everything is completely normal, like I live at this apartment that I've never been in, like this is completely fine, and hey, what's going on, I say, and he says, oh yeah, how are you, and I'm like, oh, blah, 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 in English, he spoke English, and, uh, and I left very abruptly. Scared the shit out of me. Some construction worker blowing up my spot for free. <laughs> that's the end of your story? That's it. That was a lame story, wasn't it? And, that, and that's stupid fucking ridiculous poetry. Yeah, yeah that's true. I'm gonna say a lot of ums, because that's, that's how I am. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, don't get, don't mistaken that for my name. My name is Unly, not Um. But I'll say that a lot. The pieces behind me are my artwork. They're um, acrylic on canvas. It's good because like we get exposure first of all. Um, this is like on top of uh, not just New York or just within the states because we've done a lot of shows in the states. Just bet. Um, but this is like another country. And I think it's a great exposure to um, everybody, the whole world. Because what we're doing is cool, I think. It's awesome. And everybody should know about what we're doing. That way I just started dabbing. 
And that's what it came, came up with. That was the result of just dabbing and streaking. Okay. Um, we are here in uh, Mastul Kunst und Kulturverein in Berlin Wedding. My name is Tim Ottmar Schindler and I do the plays uh, with a couple of guys since one year, two years, three years, I, I don't know. Okay. For one week the antagonist movement came to Berlin and did uh, several of shows, uh, opening session, uh, um, uh, a movie night with a nice movie from Eton and uh, tonight a writer's night and um, on Friday it's going to be the um, finishing night. I'm looking forward to it because every, every night was very beautiful from my point of view and we have this, uh, this um, exhibition here which is very beautiful from kind of many, many, many artists, right? 50 people or what was it? Okay, Mastool is um, like a group of seven guys um, who are like working um, like f for free actually just to run the place and we do um, um, uh, art of all kinds. We do um, exhibitions, we do um, uh, shows with liter literature uh, people are reading. We, had, we just had like uh, this, this month a, uh, a young author who, who uh, would read from his, his first uh, novel, which was great. Dealing with like the, uh, the period of when the wall came down and stuff because people from Eastern Germany well, I had really trouble. So he was 30 when it happened, and he wrote about it now, and it was really touching. And we do um, uh, music concerts, parties we don't do any anymore because we have to take care of our neighbors. And yeah, that, that's it. All kinds of stuff, you know, what's happening. When we went into the place, when we found this beautiful place, it was clear to us that we can afford it just by doing what we do. So we said, okay, there's uh, some guys got to move in uh, just to to pay the rent. So me and my fellow Axel, we moved in, and we live in the back of the of the area, and it's um, freaky <laughs> because like wedding is uh, the 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 area in Berlin, it's so called problem area. It's a lot of foreigners, a lot of uh, people uh, uh, who. who uh, you know, have uh, be paid by the government and stuff. Um, don't have work and stuff. But uh, so it, uh, the betting has got a, a bad uh, reputation. But actually, it's pretty nice here. And uh, Berlin is a city with a lot of culture, it's like kind of a boom town. It's always new people coming in, rushing in, and the uh, cultural scene is like moving in a circle from every five years or every eight years from area to area. And everybody's like thinking maybe next time it could be wedding. So we don't believe that. But we just we just uh, ended here by accident actually. Yeah. So because I moved in uh, uh, here just around the corner seven years ago and the group found in my, uh, my apartment and the whole idea developed out of this, this spirit we got as a group. We party together, we made music together and um, and then uh, we said we want to have our living room which which ha should have its own bar and, uh, and its own um, stage so that we can do what we did in a living room, you know, perform, write, sing, uh, do art, talk, all, all at the same time. And then, uh, we, yeah, we start working on it, you know, and it just happened. And because I was, we, we lived together as a group in a, in a community, like, and so we stayed in wedding. And then we became part of this area and we said we want to stay here and we want to do it here. Um, so what I did tonight was like, uh, it was a challenge for me because I didn't write in English for years. No, I just tried in my, my, my native language. I said I want to do it for, for you, and I tried to re reflect on um, um, what I experienced with you guys. Like, because it's art, it's it's uh, people talking about art, doing art and stuff. What's happening? Why are we doing this? And so, like, uh, and um, so I just did it. When I write, I just write very fast, very very uh, intense. I try to keep it very short. I try not to think. I just try to, to push it out. And um, uh, yes, writing is my my uh, my, my my disease. <laughs> if people watching this are uh, coming to Berlin, check out this place if we're still existing then. And um, whatever you do, people, do it. What's the matter? Get out of here. What are you doing? What's the problem? Yeah. I'm coming in with a camera. No, you're not. <laughs> it's 
Antagonist Movement merchandise for sale. Antagonist Movement merchandise for sale. Ah, and everyone's waiting for you. Leave her alone. What is your problem? I need some privacy here. Jesus Christ. So what happened? Tell tell the viewers. No. Oh my God. I had to do number two, but I can't, and I haven't been able to all morning. And usually, I go every morning, so I'm having a hard time. Maybe it's because I'm in Berlin. Too much meat, not enough fiber. Not good for you. Whole floor. There's some kinds of bars inside there. You can, explain you it can just go out there. What is it? Nothing. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Putting a sticker on the squatter building. I know I can't get arrested for that because the people who have these businesses don't even own the place. So they can't get me for destruction of private property or anything. No matter where you are in the world, if you put a sticker on a squatter building, you're all right. No, this is a special special sign for the east part of Berlin. It's called a needle. You can you can go inside and there's an elevator. You can go on the top and then you can you have an overview um, about the city. Right. It was a communist sign. Sure. <laughs> it's surprisingly light. What are we doing right now? Uh, we're taking Ina, who's never shown her work uh, publicly before. We're taking her work over to the gallery. We're a full service uh, art movement. We actually deliver the artwork for the artists as well. International, local, whatever your shipping needs may be. Take care of it. Ich muss leider morgen arbeiten. Das ist, sagst du, Schweinescheiße. She said that's what he says. Uh, pink shit. You got the entire, I got all the guys. I get the whole thing now. No, you turn around back. That's right. No, no, no. You turn, you, you turn forward. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Go the other way around, like opposites. Yeah. Now the other way. Turn. I love my work. It's already your tag. You used to come. People see my name written in dust. I'm Crispy T. And the process of my artwork is these, actually, all these pieces I did with the antagonist. So it's really like a two person process. These things, basically like one of us would start with the canvas, and then the other one would take it, and then the other one would take it, and the other one would take it. It was kind of like, I don't know, it wasn't really finished until neither one of us wanted to work on it anymore. Basement of black and white, we kept like 12 or 13 canvases down there, and then just every night I'd be down there, every time Dan came by, he'd go down there, and other people too, like Ryan Adams, um, Fabrizio from The Strokes. This is just, you know, me and Dan, that picture, and there's another one of him over there is us. We got plastic guns and just ran around the city, freaking people out. So even though they're plastic and they're obviously fake because they're green and the other one's blue and yellow, people just got like nervous seeing us walk down the street with, he had a shotgun and I had a Uzi in my hand. And we took pictures and voila, and I'm killing Mike Tyson. Um, I don't know, I think it's a great experience and we got to meet cool Berlin artists here and do stuff that we couldn't do in New York, like breaking into that abandoned house and painting all over the walls there. And stuff like that's awesome. And you know, if, when they come to New York, we'll be able to give them sort of some sort of New York unique experience that they can't do here. So it's like a good exchange and we all benefit from it. What I did is I would take a gun and I would cover it with paper mache and then pull the paper off of it when it was dry, flip it over, do the other side, and then when I had two sort of molds, I put it on the canvas. Hello, hello. Okay, dun, dun, so dun, dun, dun. My name is James Rubio. That's a great idea. And explain your art. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, this is my, my piece for the uh, Berlin trip. It's a piece entitled Step 4 Yoko Ono. Basically, um, it's a series of portraits of uh, the sky, the one thing that kind of unites everything. Uh, above my house, step one is uh, to take a picture of your house. It's off of a Yoko Ono word painting. Uh, step two, 
take a picture of the sky in the back of your house. And step three, compare the two skies. The idea that you can look at one thing and look at the other thing, but it's part of the same thing. Step four, Yoko Ono. That's about it. She's a fucking genius. She did it in words. I had to take pictures to show my point. And uh, she was the originator. Yoko. Also, we meet all these other Berlin artists who are like doing stuff that's in many ways cooler than what we ourselves are doing. And uh, we can kind of ride that gravy chain. Like, oh, we knew these people at this point, and they could say the same about us. And uh, we can get a dialogue and also a first hand experience of what life is going on in the rest of the world, which is uh, probably the most important thing an artist can do anyway. Um, my main piece that I am bringing is this uh, monkey character, I guess you would say it is. And he is uh, actually number five in a series of characters that are um, entitled Bird on a Stick. Um, and what I did on this one is I drew out a character, put a grid on it to the dimensions of the cards that I wanted, and this happens to be to like quarter scale, I believe. Uh, so the original is going to be four times the size. It's about four foot by four foot. Uh, and I made a little grid system, cut out all these cards on cardstock, and then basically by hand tried to redraw what I saw inside each square here on my grid. And the one thing I'm not good at is copying what I see. So when this gets put together, you'll see that a lot of things don't match up at all. And then you're going to have some things that match it perfectly and there's really no rhyme or reason to it, it just happens. Um, and that is the main piece. I also have a dozen or so of these little placards that will be, um, right now they're still in the process of getting sealed for weather protection, but these will be bolted on throughout Berlin, assuming Berlin has holes that I can bolt through. And then I have a handful of small little creatures that I will be finishing up and I'll be doing more sketches just on the airplane as I'm going over to Berlin which I want to put up on the walls just for it's the whole process of getting there and getting things out of my head that have been in my head for this show um, and in general everything is pretty simple I basically I make characters and that's what they are and I'm hoping people like them see my my stuff and enjoy it and we'll see what happens from there and yeah it's basically a Actually, a bunch of little things that are still still works in progress. So I have uh, I have a little bit of time left to finish them up, but I'll be going very soon, and then there's no more. At the moment, we are in my wonderful bedroom of my apartment in New Windsor, New York, which is it's about an hour, hour and a half north of Manhattan, right along the Hudson River. A uh, small, pretty quiet town, although I live next to a big road, so it does get noisy when the, uh, the trucks drive down it and their air brakes are going. You know, I really have no idea what's going to happen in Berlin. Um, I expect it's going to be fun, regardless of really whatever happens. I think just sort of going as a group that we are uh, and enjoying a foreign country together and trying to basically cause chaos with artwork. It's going to be a lot of fun and we'll just see what happens from there. Hopefully we'll meet a lot of contacts who enjoy what we do and enjoy the antagonist movement in general. And uh, maybe better things to come. Well, to me, when I think of the antagonist movement and, and the things that we do, it's almost, we're sort of throwing creativity into people's faces and seeing what kind of response you get from it, whether it be positive or negative. Um, in, in the different venues we do, whether it be the art shows, like the one night art shows or the month long group shows, we're always sort of forcing art amongst people. I think in 10 years the antagonist movement will be a force to be reckoned with. Um, I'm almost thinking world domination if it goes at the uh, level it's going at right now. Maybe not world domination as you know a political power, but uh, uh, an art power. See that? Yeah. Sheets on. The 
problem with these is you can't just peel it apart and put it around your neck. It's pretty sick that they like, even though they left this building, they left all this crazy like Art Deco stuff inside of it and nobody has even bothered to take it out. I mean, if this were in New York, that stuff would be out of here in like two minutes. It'd be selling in a shop for thousands of dollars. It's crazy. Look at that. You can smoke and take a piss in Europe. And then I hope we'll get to realize some projects together. So let's keep in touch. <laughs> it's a uh, coffee cup full of oil. But when I ordered uh, a tea this morning in Germany, they, I asked them for milk and they said, Milchen or whatever. And I was like, and they looked at Milch and they looked at me very funny. I was like, yeah, Milch, Milch, Milch. You know? And then I thought of the blood and the oil and I gotta get off this political kick. <laughs>